6299 Mountain Trust Mortgage and Mountain Trust Realty. All right, guys, the Tatis now timeline. You know, Alex, you said earlier in the show that, um, you know, you said all along he would be back for the next Dodger series at the beginning of August. I want to say, August did you 5th. say it was August 5th, which is a Friday? Mm -hmm. And then last week, or maybe it was just a little bit further back, there was that time where you were like, you know, I've always been when, but now I'm on the verge of if. Like, there was a time where maybe we were thinking, is he really going to come back? So the timeline has now been set, though. Tatis is going to start swinging. He's going to go through a rehab assignment. And if your projection is right, by Friday, August 5th, when the Padres play the Dodgers, which is, you know, 10 days from now, maybe 11 days from now, we may see Fernando Tatis back in a Padre uniform. I mean, at least that's my guess. That's the goal. That's the plan. All right, here's what Tatis had to say. Go for it. I feel like I've put my A swing out there. I haven't been afraid of it. The things I've done so far, I feel like I've put from 95 to 100% on my swing. And so far, it's feeling pretty good. So hopefully it stays that way. Mm -hmm. That also doesn't give me like much like confidence about my prediction. You know, because it's like, what do you mean? I thought you were good. What do you mean like you're not kind of surprised that it's all good because you're going 100? I thought we were thought we were taking this slow. I thought there wasn't supposed to be any setbacks. <laughs> like, I don't, I just kind of was going to be like, yeah, ready to go. Rehab, boom, boom, boom. Which is kind of what he said today in AC's thing. He's like, I guess he he took BP today. He will or he will take BP when they come back to Petco, and then next week he will go to San Antonio for a rehab assignment. So we're getting close. Unless there's a setback, we're getting close. But just doing the timeline again, if if this week they're in Detroit, and I only know this that the Padres are in Detroit. Why are they there? Do um, you guys realize that Wednesday night at Petco Park there's a monster concert? You guys know about this? The Chili Peppers. Yeah, Red Hot Chili Peppers on Wednesday night. And it's one of those things that where that's going to look like on Friday. See, I, I don't, I don't know about you. you remember guys. the Rolling Stones? Oh yeah, dude. Remember what Ooh. they did to the outfield? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't love stadium concerts. They're not good. I mean, it's gonna be I, in my it's opinion. Too big. They're not. It, they're it, not big. They're not good. I, I, I saw I, Beyonce I, at Qualcomm. It was, it was rough. It was, it was rough. I, not only was it, I saw Beyonce at Qualcomm also, and. I don't even know really why I went other than I think a friend of mine wanted to go. So I went with her. This is how long ago is this? Well, this is years ago because Qualcomm Clearly, was standing yeah. still. And there was no COVID. It, there was the acoustics. I didn't think were very good. May 13th, you know? 2016. There you go. I just didn't think it was very good. I, I, I don't love stadium shows. You know, some people love to go to every big concert. They want to be there. Hey, there's going to be 40,000 people at Petco Park. The Red Hot Chili Peppers are playing. I think... I think the strokes may be opening. Actually, I'd have to really go look at it. But somebody invited me to go. And I'm like, you know, I saw the Red Hot Chili Peppers at the belly up in front of like 300 people. Don't even go Gosh, to Petco. God, it was amazing. <laughs> Don't even I mean, go to Petco. Have you seen that, dude? You're not going to like it. I know. And, and, like, I, and I think that same year that I saw the Chili Peppers at the belly up, I think that same year they played. I, I got to check myself on this. But I think they played the Super Bowl in San Francisco also in front of a small crowd, you know, and I'm, I'm like, do I really want to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers in front of 40,000 people at Petco Park? I'm trying to remember the last I, maybe it was the Rolling Stones last concert I went to at Petco. Uh, that's that's the only one I've ever been there. No, well. I, maybe Billy Joel. Maybe Billy Joel was one that I went to also. Chili Peppers with guest opening acts. Haim, who I like. I don't know who that and is. It's a. It's three sisters in their okay. band. They're very good. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. LA bassist Thundercat, who has some good oh, songs too. No, not the Strokes. So the Strokes are not playing with them. Not here. Yeah, somebody told me that they were. I, I listen. I, I didn't look it up. I just went with somebody's word. So yeah, um, Padres are out of town this week. So are you saying that the, the report is is that Tatis won't start swinging? He says he, this is according to AC because uh, Tatis said couple lives and then head out to San Antonio for rehab. AC goes, those live sessions facing pitchers on the field are not expected to take, to take place until the team returns to San Diego following its upcoming three-game series in Detroit. That means Tatis probably won't begin his rehab assignment until early next week. Um, Tatis could make his season debut when the Padres are in LA to face the Dodgers August 5th and 7th. Tatis expects to hit on the field and in the batting cage in Detroit this week. Did you say fifth and seventh? Fifth through seventh. Okay. I just didn't know if there was like a game and then a day off and then a game. It seemed weird to me. 
Um, yeah, let's see. Today's July 25th. So um, Monday of next week is August 1st. Uh, let's say he gets two or three games at a rehab assignment, the second and third ish. And then he comes back and they're playing against the Dodgers on the fifth, sixth and seventh. I mean, you're really, really throwing them right into the fire, but I mean, you need to, Yeah. you know, it doesn't, it really doesn't if matter. He's ready. He's ready. It doesn't matter who they're playing. Right. If he's ready, he's ready. Exactly. 